what part of our business do we think is the toughest? Duplication, okay. Okay, yes. Prospecting, okay. Yes. What else? What part do we think? Man, this place, this site thoughtful. Sharing questionnaires, okay. Yes. Prospect, okay. Duplication, okay. Prospecting, okay. Just duplication. <laughs> Okay, there are many different things for different people, yeah? Promoting events. Uh, I, I, okay, but promoting events is one of the simplest things to do in our business. I can, I can bet you, when compared to many other things we have to do, getting people to take a look at our business is one of the hardest, if not the hardest. Getting people to come and take a look, starting from prospecting to invitation. These two things. In fact, invitation is really tough. Invitation is the is, is the toughest part because getting people, that's why it's called the gateway skill. Because if people can't go through, nothing. If people can't go through, they won't even getting them to do the business, do the activity is something else. Okay. So, but um, what if? What if there is a way that you can improve your presentations, your invitation skills? What if there is a way that you can become better at inviting? What if there is a way? I want to hear from you. What if there is a way that will, I will call it the shortcut to inviting. What if there is a shortcut that could make you, you will still invite but you, it puts you in front of your prospect or it puts your prospect in front of you almost immediately. What if there is a way that you can do that? Now, you know, some of us often look for where, what is the scenario where I don't have to prospect at all? Uh -uh. This session is not for that. This session is for those people who want to improve on their ability to get some people to take a look at their business, to improve on their ability to get more number of people take a look at what they do. What if there is a way that you can make that happen? What if there is a way that getting people, because the thing is this, why it's called the gateway scale is if people cannot sit down and listen to your business opportunity, you don't even have a chance with them at all, at all. If people cannot sit down and listen to what you have to offer, to what our business, to the benefits of our business, it becomes almost impossible, almost impossible to get them to do the business. This morning, I want to share with you something that have created results that should you decide for those people that would decide, you know what, I am going to follow this. I am going to do what it takes. I am going to go out there and do this and keep to it till the end of this month. Today is 21st and in the next nine days, 10 days from today or 10 days with today, the month of August will end. What if you are looking for a way to have five sign-ups between now and end of the month? What if there is a way that you can make that happen? Should you decide, I want to do this? Because you have to decide, I want to do this. I want to, I want to create a good result in 10 days. I want to create the kind of result I have not had in 10 days. But I am willing, I, will, I am willing to do something i am willing to to go all out for it i am willing to commit to it i am willing to do it as i am advised and mentored to do that what if 
you make up your mind that starting from today to end of this month, I am going to employ this strategy and I'm going to maximize it. No day ends without me utilizing it. What if I am willing to show you a way you can do it? Will you be willing to do it? That's the question. What if I am willing to show you a way you can do it? Will you be willing to do it? Because sometimes we share a lot of things with us, but majority of us don't do what we ask us to do. Majority of us don't engage in the activities. I can mentor you, I can guide you, I can show you what you can do, but you have to make up your mind that I am ready to do this. I'm ready to do this for the next 10, nine, 10 days, starting with today. Like at the end of this meeting, I want to see feedbacks from people who are saying, I am up for this. Like, in fact, Gam, this is what I have done. This is what I have done. This is what I am doing right now. At the end of the, by, by 12 o'clock, I get feedbacks from people who are saying, Graham, this is what I want. This is what you said we should do. This is what I am doing. By by, by five o'clock, Graham, this is it. This is it. How many of you will commit to being disciplined to do that? How many of you will commit to like, no, no, no. You said we should do this. Now, let me tell you something about mentorship. Mentorship is I'm following a mentor. is about doing what makes sense to him. It may not make sense to you. Following mentorship means I decide as far as this is concerned to think in the mind of my leader, in the mind of my mentor, instead of my own mind. I drop whatever I think I know. I drop whatever I feel should be the better way to have done it. But I do it the way he said I should do it. Now, how many of you will throw away what you think you know and follow what I'm ask, going to ask you to do? to improve on your activities for the next 10 days, next nine days, 10 days starting from today. Let me share this with you. Pay attention. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why, but our Zoom is restricting us to only 100. So for you to be here this morning, you're actually blessed because a lot of people, the only thing they can do this morning is to watch what we are doing, but you are getting it firsthand. You can ask questions. They won't have the opportunity to ask questions. So stay with me while I share my screen with you. You can see my screen let me know if you can see my screen let me know if you can see my screen let me know what if you could prospect and invite on demand you know the process of finding prospects are things we do if you, if for some of us, we, we, we take time, we look for people, we make friends and all that. Now, some of us have made some of those friends, but how to engage them becomes a problem. How to even invite them to take a look at our business becomes a problem. You see some of us doing things like, hey, my brother, there is this business. There is this business I, I, I started. I want you to come and take a look at the business. And the person you are telling is looking at your business. You're, 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 you're salary you, 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 you don't have any, there is nothing to show that you're successful at any business. And you're inviting me, you're asking me to come and take a look at a business. What makes you think the person will be deeply interested to take a look at your business? So today, I'm going to share with you very quickly how you can, how you can make the best out of this, okay? First, the strategy I'm about to share with you works best with fresh warm market. Fresh warm market. Now, when I mean when I say fresh warm market, what do I mean? Those people that you have not shown the business before. So if you have been following our trainings, 
you will discover that we have taught ourselves how to make friends every day. Make two friends in a day. Very simple. Very simple. Hey, dude, I am on an assignment to make two friends every day. Do you mind being my friend number one for today? Imagine how silly that sounds. But that silly thing that, that's this silly statement has gotten me more friends than I ever imagined. The moment you finish saying it, the person you are saying to will start laughing. He said, no, I'm serious. I, I, I have an assignment. I'm, I'm, in fact, you can even tell the person, I am a very introverted person, but I am on an assignment that despite my being introverted, intro, being an introvert, I'm going to make two new friends every day. You might be my friend today. We just stay in touch. Can you imagine how powerful that is to make friends? Now, when you are, if you have been doing that, now at a point, you go hook. Where does he hook? You ask, you've been chatting with the person, how was work today? If you notice the person is a football fan, likes football, hey guy, how was football, blah, 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 blah. You share one or two, the person posts something on status, you comment, those things like that, yeah? You guys have been keeping in touch and many of us have been asking, but Gam, how do I, how do I come in? Do I come in to show this person the business? Worry not, there is a way you can do that now. So I mean, when I say fresh, I mean, there are people whom you have not shown the business before. Now, secondly, they have to be warm market. Warm or hot market, actually. Don't, uh, using this for cold market means using it for total strangers. Uh, they might take a look at your business, but they may be wary. They may be on the edge. They may be on defense. They may be on the, that's at the edge, like, uh, but I don't know this guy. Why is he coming at me this way? especially with what is happening around us here. So it works best. I'm not saying it will not work with other categories of prospects, but it works best with warm market. okay? People you know, people you've met friends with, people you've got to know in the line of making friends, you met somewhere else, things like that, okay? Number two, you have to make a list of these people. Don't just say, okay, today I'm calling James. Today, I'm doing this with, with, with Matthew. Today, I'm, no, no, no. Sit down and make a list of them. Who are the people I can do this with? Who are the people I know currently? They are your warm list. So sit down and write their names. Now, let me tell you this. When you are making the list, you can go into what we call the second degree of separation. When you are making the list of people you know, who you can do this with, you can go into second degree of separation. What do I mean? There are people I have met through someone. There are people I have met through someone. I went out riding with a friend one day and he said, oh, um, my one of my town guy, one of my relations is having uh, a wedding today and I want to just go there and show face. Come and go with me. Come and, come and escort me to the place. And so we are riding. So we got there and then he introduced me to his family. He introduced me. This person is my uncle. He's this, 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 this. This person is my uncle. He's this, 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 this. This person is my aunt. He's this, 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 this. And we exchanged numbers. I exchanged numbers with the uncle. I exchanged numbers with the aunt and all that and all that. Now, keeping in touch with these people, I can reach out to them directly. That is what you mean by second degree of separation, okay? So you can reach out to people you met through that way, okay? Now, thirdly, when you are about to schedule this, invite and prospect and invite, you need to be excited about meeting them. You are going to meet with these people either on Zoom but most especially face-to-face. -face. Now, you need to be excited about meeting them. You need to be excited that I have something that is blowing my mind. I cannot help but excited about it. I'm, I'm, fully, on, I'm fully on top of the mountain on it. It's, it's blowing my mind, okay? The excitement is contagious. You need to be excited about meeting them. Another thing you also need to do in carrying your excitement is you need to dress like it. 
You can't be showing something, somebody something you are excited about without you looking like what you want to show. I've realized when I visit some locations, I see people coming to the office with slippers. You see some people, they dress so, I would say casually because business casual is very much allowed. Very much. But dress like it. Dress like what you want to sell. Why do bankers dress in tie and suits to look professional? I'm not asking you to dress in tie and suit because some people will now say, and hey, Gam have said that you need to be dressing in tie and suit. That's not what I've said. But look it. Smell it. You don't have to dress expensive to dress nice. No, if you can't afford the expensive things, dress sharp and smart. Trim your nails, comb your hair, comb your weave on, oil it, put some perfume on, smell good. Do you understand this? Look, 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 look what you want to show. Look what you want them to see. Okay? Look what you want them to see. I'm not asking you to go and break the bank. If you don't have a bank, it's like it. That's part of your excitement, your carriage towards it. Now, have anyone, has anyone here noticed that when you dress good, you feel good? Has anyone noticed it, that when you dress good, you feel good? When you dress good, like, you dress good, you feel good for yourself. So dress good. For these 10 days, dress good, guy. We have not dressed good to the office today. Go back home and dress good again before you start doing this. For you to work best. Dress good. When the person you are talking to, oh, guy, what's happening? Maybe they know you that anytime you wear that cloth, it's like it's like Christmas outing. Then the guy, what's going on? You are you are looking very sharp this morning, man. You are looking very sharp. You say, My brother, that's what it is, man. That's what it be, be be excited about feel good. That, let me tell us something. Our business is about belief. People get into our into our business when they believe in what you are showing them. This idea that people tell you, I don't have money, I don't have money, is because they have not believed enough for them to raise the money. When the belief they have, based on what you're showing them, is strong enough, they even when they don't have the money immediately, they create a way to have it immediately. So transfer that belief to them by the way you present yourself, the way you come to the field, the way you come to the dance floor, the person you bring to the music. Let it be that person who is dressing sharp. Okay? It's not only some of us reserve some clothes that we only use it to go to church. You go to church once in a week but for most people. For that cloth, you only wear it on Sundays. Come on. Make, make every day your Sunday. Make every day your Sunday. Dress, dress, dress cute, man. For the ladies, you know that gown now where when you wear and you're dancing in church. That's it. Wear it, wear it. For these 10 days, put it on, man. Just put it on. You guys, you know that suit that you reserve your reserve for 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 when the geo is coming. That's when you bring out that suit and 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 that fact the ghetto on the trouser is pierced pierced. Yeah, my brother, go and bring it out. The next ten days, make it your best ten days. Is somebody getting the vibe? Is somebody getting the vibe? Be excited about what you want to do. Okay, be the message. But when they look at you, that that. that I've got, I don't know what, but the way you're looking, man, I've never, I've never seen you like this. The way you're looking, no, I've not seen you like this before. What's up with you? Okay? So be excited about meeting with them. Number four, number four, make your meeting with them very urgent. Make it urgent. Let them have that feeling that this is like a matter of life and death for me. That this is a matter of life, that, that this thing just has to happen. My meeting with you has to happen. It has to happen. You know, it has to happen. No, no. It has to happen as in the heart. It has to happen. Make it urgent. 
don't leave room for okay whenever whenever no 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 make it very very urgent okay number five stem for 30 to 45 minutes ask them for 30 to 45 minutes ask them for 30 to 45 minutes ask them for 30 between 30 to 45 minutes now there is a trick to this some people may be reluctant giving you one hour of their time some people could be reluctant giving you one hour of their time very reluctant they feel it's too much a time don't go and tell them but you should have no 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 give them something that is a bit for one hour you will finish your own part of the whole deal in the time you are going to give them. But I promise you, when you deliver this the right way, they will be the one to keep you, both of you, till one hour. So give them a time that is not one hour, that is enough for you to deal the deal. Do we understand this? Do we understand this? So you have to give them a time that... Ah, uh, it's not one hour that will be scary to them, but they feel mm, I can I can I can squeeze out this little time. I can I can scratch it out, and then we meet. Okay, so have that in mind. So what you're asking them for is thirty to forty-five minutes. You're not asking them for one hour. Number six, don't ask them for the time within the week. Don't ask them openly. Ask them for 30 to 45 minutes today. Hmm, is somebody getting this? Ask them for 30 to 45 minutes today, today. Ask them for the time today. Today, not tomorrow, today. Today. Ask them for the time today. It's because it is urgent. That's why you're asking for a time today. And you're not asking for all day. You're asking them for a time today. Very crucial. If you can see what came up last, I want you to type it in the chat room. What's the next point about after asking them for today, for the time today? What's the next thing you see? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? What's the next thing there? What do you see there? Take it to them. This is this is this is this is one of the most crucial parts of using this. Take it to them. Take it to them. Many of us are already conditioned, have already conditioned our minds that prospects must come to us. That prospects must fit into the a mapped out timetable for the office. The prospects must, must fit into the mapped out timetable on Zoom. For these 10 days, take it to them. Let me explain to you what it means to take it to them. What it means to take it to them is that you decide to be flexible. You make up your mind that for the next 10 days, you fix an appointment with them in the office at a time outside the timetable. You fix appointments with them at a time that is convenient for them in their office, in a, in a sit-out, in an eatery, in something like that. You're ready to come to them rather than waiting for them to come. Now, let me tell you what I have discovered. A lot of prospects, a lot of our contacts, a lot of our friends are willing to live listen to our business if we are willing to come to them. The challenge most often is that we go to them without preparing them that we are coming to them and what we demand of them. But with this, when you go to them, you've already, you've already told them how much time of theirs you need and that within that time, you only need their attention. So when you take it to them, they feel important, which is something you capitalize on. 
they feel important, they feel, they feel valuable. And you want them to feel valuable. But along the line, you're going to let them know the essence of your meeting with them. So in these 10 days, from now to the end of this month, make up your mind that you are going to take it to them. Make up your mind that if the person is one hour away from you, that you are going to commit one hour to go and show the person. Let me ask us. You go and show someone, and the person signs up immediately at the end of the business, at the end of, of, you, of you showing the person. Is it not what the one hour commuting? Far more than it. Because that person that connected is not for just for the 990. That person is a nation in the making. That person is a nation. That person can connect you to someone, to someone, to someone that can become ballistic, go ballistic in the business. So be willing for the next 10 days to take it to them. Okay? So ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you very quickly what you need to do when you meet with them. When you meet with them, you are going to explain to them why you are meeting with them. You are going to schedule a meeting with them, but when you meet with them eventually, you are going to tell them, why am I meeting you? Why is it important that I am here with you as we speak? Very crucial. You have to know these things and put them in mind. Please, let me say this. If, when you are in these meetings, have your tools ready. I didn't include that here, but that should be the next point. Be prepared. Be very, very prepared. Have your interest option form ready. Have the account details where the person will make transfer. Don't collect money into your personal account. Have your tools ready. Your interest of have your pen, your virus, have more than one. Because maybe when you want to write with one, that your village people will become activated. Somebody will tell them that you are about to become successful and they will seize one pen and the other one will not write. And one will not write. Tell your village people, I prepare for you people. Pull out another one and continue writing. Let me give you a trick. When you go for this kind of meeting with an interest option form, before you get there, before you set out for the meeting, take that interest. If you have the person's details, Fill the form for the person. Put the person's name. Put the person's name in the form. Put date of starting. If today, today is 21st. Put today's date in that form. Yes. Did somebody hear what I said? Take a form, an interest option form. Fill the form. Leave the package the person will start with. Fill the form with the person, for the person, before you even get there. Before you get there, feel the, if you know the person's data, feel it there. Put today's date, make to start, put today. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do with that form. Somebody's learning. <laughs> you want to invite and prospect on demand. I'm showing you how you can do it. Now, when you meet with them, you know what I said? Tell them why. So how do you invite these people? Please, the best way, the Best way to do this is to call them on the phone. The best way to use this is to call them from the phone. From that, your list, you pick up your phone. Be excited. Be happy. I've seen. I've noticed that some people are excited when they are pacing around. When I'm making calls and I'm booking, I, I, I get the best of myself when I am standing and pacing around. If I'm seated, I'm making the call. You know, they enter. But if I carry the call script, once I dial the number, I carry the phone, carry the call script, and I'm walking up and down, it gets me to, it gets me in the mood for the call. Find what works for you. Be excited. Okay? Some people, when they sit on the chair, what you will say is this. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hey, this is not it. This is not it. Psych up yourself. If if you know that song that psychs you up, that gets you on fire, that's what you need. But please, on a scale of 1 to 10 of being excited, don't be 15. If you become too excited, the person will be feeling somehow, okay? 
Now, relate with them with the name you call them, the name you know them with. So I'm using this person's name here as Kali, okay? So let's say you are calling the person this morning and you say, good morning, Kali. Next thing, how are you? No more pleasantries. How are you now? How was the weekend? Very fine. A quick one, Kali, a quick one, quick one, quick one. I'm saying quick one, quick one, quick one. Somebody will say, will you say it many times like that? Yes, yeah, say it many times like that. You're talking with someone who knows you. Guy, quick one, quick one, quick one, eh? quick one. Say, what's up? Do you understand? Do we get this? I want to see your comments in the chat room to be sure you get what I'm saying. Quick one, quick one, quick one, man. Quick one, quick one. You be like, guy, guy, what's up? Babe, what's up? Now, why, what's up, what's up? That's the kind of response you want to get. And you say, okay, my mentor gave me an assignment. My mentor gave me an assignment to show five people my business today for me to remain in his mentorship. My mentor has given me an assignment. My mentor has given me an assignment to show my business to show my business today. Sorry, my phone is distracting me. Come on. Quick one, quick one, quick one. What's up, guy? What is it? What is it, man? My mentor has given me an assignment to show five people my business today for me to remain in his mentorship. Whether it makes sense to you or not, that I let you decide, okay? I just need 45 minutes, not our place. I just need 45 minutes of your time today. I just need 45 minutes of your time today. What time will be convenient for us to meet? So I show you what I am talking about. Did somebody get the vibe? Good morning, Kali. Quick one, quick one. So what's up now, guy? What's in half? Remember, don't, please don't forget pleasantries, eh? Good morning, Kali. How far now? A day. How for the journey? How we can number, brother? We day, we day, we day. Go on, Kali. Quick one, quick one. Say, yeah, what's up? My mentor has given me an assignment to, to show five people my business today for me to remain in his mentorship. Whether it makes sense to you or not, I let you decide. I just need 45 minutes of your time today. What time will be convenient for us to meet so I show you what I am talking about? Now, remember, you are telling this person, it's more like you're asking him for a favor. For me to remain in his mentorship, I beg, I have to finish this assignment. Now, you've told the person also, whether it makes sense to you or not, I will leave you to decide that. I just need 45, min 45 minutes of your time. Just 45 minutes, Perry. Nothing like more than that. I just need 45 minutes of your time. Only 45 minutes, my brother. 45 minutes of your time. Today. Don't say them within the week. No. 45 minutes of your time today. Today. Today as in the heart. Guy, today. Don't tell them as in the heart. I'm just explaining to you. Except you and the person parlays in that wave. Do you understand this? I just need 45 minutes of your time today so that I can show you, so that I can remain in his mentorship, Abe. So tell me, Kali, what time will be convenient for us to meet so that I show you what I'm talking, uh, talking about? What time? So that I show you what I'm talking about. What time? What time? What time? What time? Uh, you said 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, let's meet. Let's meet. Let's meet now. Let's meet now. Now I'm free. In fact, the pressure has not. We, we can meet now, Kali. Okay. Uh, for me to get to where you are, uh, it will take me about thirty minutes. So in the next thirty minutes, I can be where you are. Is that cool? He said, Yeah, thirty minutes, my brother. You're on your way. Home. Some people will say, ah, I'm on my way to town. I'm on my way to the office. But you know what? You said it's just forty-five minutes. I'll just try to find where you are. We we'll meet for forty-five minutes before I get to the office. I am ready. Let's meet. Do we understand this? Do we get this? Now, listen, please. This is not a time to read a slide of 200 pages. It's not the time. Of. This is a time where all you do here is tell your story. If you don't know how to create your story, go and meet your leader immediately after this cell meeting. How to create your story. Your story should have three components. Your background, 
what you don't like about four components actually your background what you don't like about your background the opportunity you found and your hope for the future four elements your background man things have been crazy okay number 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 two uh I thought what you didn't like, I have not been able to do the things I wanted to do, leaving short of what I know I can do. Number three, I saw an amazing opportunity. Number four, what I'm excited about. But guess what? I have a way you can also bring in some things into your story. And I get, I'm here to give it to you. Now, listen to this. When you invite them like this and they give you an appointment, when they give you an appointment. Now, some people could say, ah, oh, my brother, today is already choked. You say, wow, okay. Ah, today, so 45 minutes is what I need, though. Just your undivided 45 minutes. Ah, today is already so planned out. Hi, 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 hi. You now ask them, listen to this. What's the earliest 45 minutes I can get of you tomorrow then? What's the earliest... 45 minutes I can get from you. What's the earliest 45 minutes I can get from you tomorrow? The earliest. The earliest 45 minutes I can get from you. Are we getting this? What's the earliest 45 minutes I can get from you tomorrow? Do we get this? Okay. Now, before the meeting starts, before the meeting starts, before the meeting starts, hmm? listen to this. You are going to read this to them. Tell them that what you are about to tell them, that what you are about to do with them, because you are in training, you wrote everything down so that you don't forget anyone. That, you, that when you get back to review with your mentor, he will ask you exactly, and you don't know the way this guy does it though, but somehow he knows when you have not done the right thing. So you have decided to write everything down to avoid any mistakes, so that when you're answering him, you'll be answering him, boy. Do you understand this? Please copy this out. When you're about to start the meeting, open it, guy, don't ask me, oh. I am in training and I don't want to miss anything. The kind of mentor why I get, I don't understand that guy. So once you are going to sit with him and he's guiding you through something, he, he can figure out exactly what you did correctly. In fact, he can, it's as if he's there with as if he has a camera. So I don't want to make mistakes so that my mouth no go shake when I deal with that. So no, if you laugh, if you want to laugh me now, you sabi, but I want it what why I am here with you. I want to tell you why I'm here with you. If you want to laugh at me that I'm reading it. No one is your business. I just want to tell you why I am here with you. You guys will laugh. It's okay, I'm listening. You start. Do you understand? Don't go and say, I cram it in my head and you come there. Please, please, write it out. You start. I want to tell you exactly why I'm meeting with you. I want to tell you exactly why I am meeting with you. And I've written out the why so that I don't make mistake or forget anyone. Do you understand? Don't laugh at me. Or I'm just telling you. It's okay. Well, yeah, tell me why you start. I am very glad that you made out time for us to meet. Thanks, man. If it's a man, someone, depending on how close you shake the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Eh? Thank you. You know me. You know you are. Sorry, I, I needed to edit this. You know me, but what you know is that for a, a very long time, I've been going through an internal challenge. You say, what is it? You've been asking myself a question. What if I stop working today or become inactive? How long will it take my family to survive? What will be the quality of my life? I don't know if you're aware, brother, but... It has been announced that Nigeria has entered depression. I had to accept the truth that things will not get better anytime soon. So, instead investigating better ways to be part of a credible system that will help me overcome this financial depression. By the grace of God, I discovered a business team of experts who showed me something very big. Did you hear what I said? Something very big. It may be the 
biggest, most credible anti-recession system I've ever seen from a profitable standpoint. I am privileged, sorry, I made a mistake here. There's certain things I didn't put, but I'm going to correct it before I send it out. And I say, guess what? When I looked at this system with my ordinary eyes some time ago, I dismissed it. But now, my eyes to look at the same system with my inner eyes. And that is when I saw the miracle. I encourage you to open your inner eyes while I quickly show you what this is all about. Do we get this? Do we get this? This is simply letting the person know this is what I have been going through. Life has not been as I wanted to, but my brother, I found something. I found something. I found something that I am excited about. And I am glad that when I looked at it with my inner eyes, what I saw is a miracle happening. I encourage you to open your inner eyes as I did, as I quickly show you what this is all about. Do we understand this? So when you say this, my brother, you run through the presentation. What it means is you need to have the ability to explain our compensation plan. You've already said that things are not so well for you already. You've already talked about the economy. So what this means is this. You've already done dream building. What you do to do next is to take them into what? The connected economy. Why the connected economy? Because of the advent of technology. The robots, AI are taking over almost everything. But there is that line of business where human interaction is still very much required. And that is called the connected economy. People have been working in the connected economy, but have not been creating success. Why? Because they lack the system. They lack support. They lack the structure. And what the team of experts I saw have done is this. They put all these things that have been lacking together. That's why so many of, of the people who are their mentees have created massive success and have been mentors themselves, some of which I will show you at the end of this. So how does this work? A global system creates a warehouse where people can come, buy what they need, and with our system, connect other people with our marketing, selling, or, or convincing people by themselves. How does it work? You draw circles. One account, three accounts. You draw circles. Chicken, and you show success story. So let's success story that suits the prospect. You're done. What do you like best about what I showed you? Do you have any question or you are ready for us to get you started? No, uh, this thing makes sense. You bring out your interest option form that you have filled his name already. The person was that like, ah, yes, I know you're a smart person now. I know that this will make sense to you. That's why I already filled out your business because I'm already making plan of how we are going to do this and, and, and create massive solutions. And in this, because I am currently undergoing a fast track program with my mentor. So you don't have to do it this way. You just have to follow our system, send text message, do this, do this. But I'm going through a fast track program. If you decide to make money as much as what I, as I want when I start the business, you can as well do the fast track program. But for you, I can work with you. All you have to do is send text message. I will be the one to call them, show them on your behalf. Is somebody getting this? Is somebody getting this? Should you decide to sit back and follow the procedure. Should you sit back and follow the process? Guess what will happen? In a day, you can have five appointments, five meetings. Show five people this business every day for the next 10 days. It will be more than what majority of people have done since the beginning of this year. That means in 10 days, you have shown 50 people the business. 50 people. Now, what I see happen also is this. Because some of us want to show five people this, they pick any Tom, Dick, and Harry. 
No. We pick people who will not ask us questions. Please don't do that. Don't do that. If you are going for a meeting and you feel the person is someone who you may not be able to close by yourself, tell your leader as you're on your way, my leader, I am going to run a meeting right now. In the next one hour, I will be done. Please, I'll call you in one hour time to help me to close down. I bet you the great achievers leaders I know will be there for you to close down for you. The question is this. Will you schedule five appointments today? Will you follow the process and schedule five appointments today? Not tomorrow. Today. Tomorrow you do five again. Next tomorrow you do another five. In 10 days, you have done 50 presentations. So the question is this. How many of us will book five appointments using this today? How many people will do that? How many of us are going to book five appointments today? Tomorrow they are going to book five appointments. Next tomorrow they are going to book five appointments. The day after next tomorrow they are going to book five appointments. How many people will do it? How many people will do it? No, if you will try, leave it, please. I'm not asking who will try. If you will try, just leave it. You're not ready for it. If you will do it, let me know. If you will try, just leave it. Just continue. Then you can book two, three. It's okay. But if you are going to do it, at the end of this meeting, send me a personal message. If you are going to do it for the next 10 days, at the end of this meeting, send me a personal message. It's just for 10 days. Only for 10 days. Like, I'm going to, I'm, no, no. I can't, damn, I, I want to show my business to five people every day. That's the minimum. Personal, not my down. No, no, five people. I'm going to show it to five people. Every day, five people. Every day, five people. And I'm going to use this strategy to book meetings for five people. Let me tell us, it's not about knowing what to do. It is about doing what you know you should do. You can do the normal thing you do. You still get results. But I'm looking for those people in this cell meeting. I'm looking for those people who want to create some exceptional results in the next nine days. Those, that's why I run this meeting for. It's for everybody. You can use this strategy. You can book appointments, run as you wish, you know, as you like, you get. But you want to do massive success, loss, speed. There's an energy that comes with the momentum. So, guys, for those who are ready, send me a, a personal message. Just send me a personal message. And then we are going to take it up. I'm going to discuss with you for the next 10 days. We're going to be talking. But I'm, I'm not going to share the benefits here for the 10 people, for the people who are going. And then there will be a limit. Maybe when they select up to 10, 15 people, I'm going to do it with. And then for the next 10 days, we hit it all. Like we go all out to show five people the business every day. 45 minutes presentation, you're done. 45 minutes, you're done. 45 minutes, you're done. Let me tell us. If you want to have, you know, there are many things we desire. There are many things that scare us. But I found out that the way to overcome some of the things that scare us is to do it. So I've been thinking of taking a long trip a long trip riding alone, long, very long. And um, yesterday I decided to start breaking the fear because part of the challenges with making long trips riding is that you will ride in the night. You'll be riding on a road. The only thing you will hear be hearing is the music in your ear or the sound of the hands doing wing, 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 wing. 
pitch darkness and and your breeze and that's it. So last night I decided to ride into the night and I rode into the night for hours. That's the distance I covered even on a good day. I don't cover that distance on a good day during the day. I rode into the night. In fact, Mr. Do, in that small thing, it remains. You see me, you foresee me for your house in Lokoja yesterday. It remains small. I rode into pitch darkness. In fact, pitch darkness. And I just wanted, what is that thing? What is that thing that I'm afraid of here? Let me pray. I am coming. Here I come. And what I found out. The, the best time to ride is in the night. Oh goodness. Oh no. No, it was, it was, it was, it was some no, no. I don't know. You won't understand. You're not riding. There are no riders here. But the best time to ride was in the night. What the, what the moral of the story is this. That thing you fear the most is the simplest thing to do. What you have to do is to step out. If you are willing to step out today, you will find out that this is the easiest thing you could have done. Did anybody learn something today? 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 Okay, very good. So we are going to close now so that we get into the field. We're going to close right away so that we get into the field. I need someone. Um, I don't know if some leaders were able to log in. Okay. Um, Tope, do you have a word for great achievers? Um, great achievers. Thank you so much, the great achievers mentor for this morning. God bless you, sir. Um, I discovered that if every one of us can just sign up for this, it will change the entire course of the game for you. Because imagine seeing five persons every day, and then you having the opportunity to tell your personal story, get your prospects to know why they need to do the business, because they know you personally. Some of us, we invite people to the general meeting and people are just struggling to find out how is this even connected to the person that invited me? How is this? What are you doing here? How is this connected to you in person? But you finding a creative way to tell your personal story in person makes it a personal project for you. That series seems to drive with you. So I want to challenge every one of us. Let's take up this challenge and make the next 10 days the best ten, the best days of this month that we have ever experienced. We can do this. And I want us to go all out and make this work. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, I need a Muslim to help us with the affirmation. Someone help us post the affirmation into the chat room so that we can very quickly go through the affirmation. Okay. I need a Muslim that will help us. We have a Muslim. So will help us post the affirmation, not the discipline affirmation, the other affirmation, okay? What we post on now? Do we have it offered, offered already? Very quickly, very quickly. Oh, mm, yeah. Okay. Do we have a Muslim that will help us? Okay. Tano team, omit yourself. Hello, good morning, great achievers. I believe you can hear me loud and clear, right? Right, loud and clear. Fire around. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, are we ready? Very. Are we ready for the affirmation? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Who am I? I am the leader every other leader every follows. Other leader follows. <laughs> Who am I? I am the I am best the there is and the best there can the ever be. Who am I? I am, I am the, the base setter of base setters. Who am I? I have a heart of gold. A heart that yeah. gets yeah. Who am I? 
Fabulous. Always looking out. Always for looking out for my teammates. Who am I? People, people that, that join my, my team my become very successful, successful within a successful. short period of time. Who am I? I am disciplined. I am disciplined and I follow and through, I follow all, through my all my commitments. Who am I? I am a success uh, and I create plus. success at I create success at will. Who am I? Nobody. Nobody. And nothing can stop, but nothing me, can from stop me from realizing my potential in the connected, in the connected economy. economy. Who am I? I, I am, am a multi-millionaire. Who am I? I am, I am a millionaire creator. Who am I? I am limitless. I am limitless. Who am I? I am a champion. champion. Who am I? I have, I have no, excuses. no excuses. Who am I? I am, I am a 24th century, century CEO. Who am I? I am one percent crazy. crazy. And the last one, let's echo it loud and clear. Who am I? I am I the am unstoppable, unstoppable great great achiever. We are unstoppable. Nothing can stop us. Now I want to appreciate our daddy.